Mercedes-Benz is here at the 2014 International CES to talk about innovations for today, tomorrow, as well as the future. It's very important actually to be here to really show the leadership and innovation for our brand as Mercedes-Benz and also show and give people actually a glimpse into the future when it comes to intelligent connectivity, when it comes to intelligent drive, when it comes to future Mercedes-Benz user experiences and also you know, what modern luxury means for Mercedes-Benz. The intelligent connected car as a whole is greater than the sum of its parts. We allow our customers to continue their digital lifestyle in the car and they don't have a feeling that, oh, I need to finish this because I cannot do this in my car. By enabling customers to really continue their digital lifestyle in the car, both you know, based on their smartphones and you know, the experience they are used from there, bringing the internet into the car with now actually more than 20 apps, your whole social life uh, with having you know, really revolutionary Google Places, for example, for destination entry, uh, and then also uh, the car as part of the Internet of Things. We have actually uh, launched the Car2X and Car2Car communication in December as the very first OEM, first to market, uh, within our digital drive style uh, app and DriveKit Plus. Actually, with an update of that system, we now allow all of our customers in the field with the digital drive style app to actually share similar to ways, basically, uh, accidents or hazards on the road with uh, others. And uh, all this data basically gets sent to our Mercedes-Benz cloud and we distribute this information to all other cars in this area. Mercedes-Benz focuses a lot on being environmentally conscious and we have done a lot with respect to electric vehicles, fuel cell technology, clean diesel vehicles. And what we wanted to do is take the next step and say, not only can we affect ourselves and being environmentally conscious within the automotive environment, but we can also step into other verticals. And this is where our partnership with Nest comes in. Connecting the intelligently connected car with your smart home, with Nest's uh, learning thermostat. The concept is actually to uh, connect uh, and transmit information from the car to your smart home, to the Nest thermostat, so that your home actually prepares and is at the right temperature right when you arrive at home. Mercedes-Benz has done is basically integrated a lot of technology from a connectivity standpoint into the vehicle today. And some of the technology that we've worked with when integrating is, for example, Google Glass. Imagine yourself driving to a destination and then stepping out and then saying, okay, where do I need to go now? This is where we worked with Google on the Google Glass concept that enables you to do a turn-by-turn -turn navigation so that you can walk to your final destination seamlessly as soon as you step out from your vehicle. Another thing that we have done is the Pebble smartwatch integration. We are world's first uh, OEM actually to bring the Pebble smartwatch into the car and we have developed uh, a driving mode so that you can take actually your car with you. You have your car and vehicle information, vehicle diagnostics and so on, whether your car is locked or not, all on your wrist. And we have a driving mode so that while driving now alerts, you know, being it weather alerts or a broken down vehicle or any other hazards on the road, you just you know, get on your smartwatch, uh, the smartwatch actually vibrates and you get a short notification there, which is, you know, actually very non-distracting while your hands are still on the steering wheel. One other big topic and trend we see is artificial intelligence. You know, systems being more and more intelligent learning, basically, and all of that we show in our predictive user experience. So imagine yourself, it's winter, you're at home, it's always 32 degrees, and you always turn on your seat warmer when you get into the car in the morning because it's cold. We believe that the vehicle should be smart enough to be able to understand that when it's 32 degrees and it's cold and it's morning, the car should automatically put on the seat warmer. And this is where predictive user experience comes into play. As part of intelligent drive, cars which really already have partial autonomous driving on the road today, and we are the first OEM offering in our S-Class, 
with Intelligent Drive, uh, we are not just braking and not just uh, basically accelerating, but we also take over the steering uh, wheel support. We are working on the next generation of autonomous driving. And for us, it's very important that we offer this not just in our high-end vehicles like the S-Class, but across the board. And that's why our theme here at CES is actually CES. It's C-Class, E-Class, and S-Class. And we are actually doing a virtual debut of the C-Class already today. Uh, here at the booth with an augmented reality representation. It's amazing. It's uh, very surprising to me that a premium car brand can have such a uh, astonishing uh, brand and presence in the consumer electronics show. It's captivating to see how Mercedes has really innovated beyond uh, what other companies have been able to do. When thinking about our day, we're often running from location to location, and if you can make getting between those places more comfortable and less stressful, it's great. For a driver, it's hard to not be connected in your car. I used to have an hour and a half commute. I had to be on my phone. I had to be checking emails. So the more we can have Google technology, which already is you know, what I use at the office, what I use at home, it's just getting smarter and smarter, and kudos to Mercedes for nailing that.